like to give an analogy based upon today's gospel image of a grain of wheat to explain All Souls Day. So picture a a cross section of a garden in which you can see flowers above and then some seeds in the soil. And so all of the flowers above, those symbolize all of the saints in heaven. They died in a state of God's grace, so they were like seeds kind of planted in the soil, and then they reached a state of perfection with God, and so they sprout forth, and now they're beautiful flowers in heaven. And some of them we can name, some of them we can see clearly, like the canonized saints, and others are just millions of flowers spread out, and those are the unnamed saints. All of the holy souls in purgatory, those are like the seeds in the soil. Since they too have died in the state of God's grace, they're planted in God's garden, yet their time has not come for them to sprout forth as beautiful flowers. And so right now they're in the darkness of soil. It's one of the reasons why you see black to symbolize the darkness of death. And so these holy souls in purgatory, they're like seeds planted in the dark soil And they're undergoing a transformation from just being seeds to being beautiful flowers. So just as seeds, they cannot speed up the growth process by themselves. The holy souls in purgatory cannot pray or make sacrifices for themselves to speed up the process. And some seeds are really close to the top and other seeds are way down at the bottom. So some holy souls in purgatory, today today might be their day to get to heaven, in which they'll sprout forth as beautiful flowers for eternity, and other seeds, as Mary spoke to some children, to the Fatima children, will be in purgatory until the end of time. What is our role? We, we are like the gardeners, you know, we're on top of the soil in the garden. And, you know, just as a gardener can take an active role in providing water, fertilizer, tilling the soil to make sure it yields kind of a rich harvest to help speed up the process so that it's a a beautiful sprouting forth of flowers. So we are like God's gardeners. We're called to make prayers and sacrifices to help the holy souls in purgatory emerge out of darkness and come into the beauty of being flowers. But the reality is that we have an option. We can be lazy or we can be active. And myself, I realize there's like a hardness of heart, like a a laziness towards really caring for the holy souls in purgatory. There's kind of like not that real deep desire to help my brothers and sisters to get up to heaven. So it's something I need to repent of and ask Jesus to, you know, fill, Jesus, fill my heart with love for the holy souls in purgatory. Fill my heart, Jesus, with your love for the holy souls in purgatory so that I see the precious opportunity I have to be a real gardener, to really help these holy souls in purgatory. And so there's uh, a lot of ways that we can actually gain plenary indulgences for the holy souls in purgatory. A really practical thing would be for all of you to think of who are all the people that have died that you know, and then try to gain a plenary indulgence for each one of those souls. And the Vatican, this month, has actually extended the period for the plenary indulgences for the Holy Souls throughout all of November. So I can send a flock note message out in which you can learn more about how to gain a plenary indulgence throughout November. Just an encouragement, if you feel like me and you feel kind of indifferent at times to the holy souls in purgatory, to really repent of this and ask Jesus for a conversion of heart so that you'll realize the precious privilege you have to be a gardener 
for God and to help all of these souls get to heaven. 